welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a skin in Minecraft in 2022. We're going to go over every single step of creating your very own Minecraft skin so you can have an awesome Minecraft skin right like this one, even though uh, I don't have a mouth in game. But nevertheless, you're going to be able to create your very own skin once this video is finished. First and foremost, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we all start our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting. That's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. So how do you make a skin in Minecraft for 2022? Well, first things first, you need to go here. This is going to be the second link down below. And this is our website. It's a text tutorial on how to make a skin. If we go too fast in this video, if you want to go through things kind of at your own pace, that's what this tutorial exists. Additionally, the video up here at the top goes a bit more in depth than we're going to in this video because I wanted to make something that was quick and a bit more digestible than previous tutorials. Nevertheless, once we're here, we're going to go ahead and click on this Minecraft skin editor to go to skin decks. This is the skin decks skin creator, basically. And as you can see, uh, I have been playing around with this in the past and it just kind of saved it. I'm going to go through all of these tools here. But again, link in the description down below takes you to our website where you want to click on this yellow skin editor button. Once you're here, though, you can see all the tools on the left hand side, as well as a color wheel selector on the right hand side, and basically a selector that allows you to kind of hide different uh, options, as well as whether or not you want to select the body, outer layer, or inner layer, right? So the outer layer is what is going to show up kind of on the outside of the character. The inner layer is if you have, like, for example, like random black edges and things like that, that's what the inner layer can do. You can also click up here and move around to, like, work on the side of the skin, all of that stuff. So nonetheless, though, let's just run through these tools. The first tool up here at the top is the pencil tool, and this is going to allow you to draw like different lines and things like that. You can select the color on the left hand side if you want to change that. As far as the next tool, that's the eraser tool. So if we wanted to erase everything I just did, we could go through and do that. On the right hand side, we have the auto tone, and this is actually one of my favorite tools. And basically, it's going to kind of create colors similar to the, you know, tone that you're using and kind of create some depth, as you can see, right? It's kind of creating something that's a little more depth than what we had by default. We then have the color picker, and what this is gonna allow you to do is, let's say we want this color right here back, we can click on it and get that color back, and then we can go back to another tool and start coloring with that color, as you can see. So there's that. Next up, we have the bucket fill tool. This is what's gonna be a very quickly way to fill specific areas. For example, if you wanted jeans, we could kind of start off with that, and then say, you know, okay, let's go in here a little bit now and uh, add in some different texture and things like that using the uh, the, the texture tool and boom now this character has jeans that's simple from there we can also have the undo and redo for example if we want to undo some things we can do that let's say we were to come down through here and put like a white line all the way down we don't like that we can undo it right like so or we can redo it right if we want to redo it you can do either one using that tool then we also do have the ability to make the basically colors different, right? You can subtly change them or very aggressively change them lighter and darker as you can see all the way to white, all the way to a bit darker. All of that can be uh, can be done using that tool there. So it's gonna darken and lighten your colors. Honestly, I would recommend just using the color wheel at the top to do that and like drag it around, but it's kind of up to you. You can zoom in using the zoom and zoom out tools. And then down here at the bottom, we do have the mirror tool, which is very helpful. Let's say we wanted the arms to both be the same color. Right like so, let's say we wanted them to both be that color, we could come in here and mirror that on both arms, right like so, right? So that'll mirror all the way down on both arms, boom, and now we've got that done. And this will work, by the way, if we go on this side and do right like so on this arm, we'll be able to go to the other side and you will see, sure enough, that has mirrored over there. So that can be very, very helpful when creating a skin to be able to kind of mirror that because a lot of skins end up do being mirrored, right? So nevertheless, we can now go ahead and export this if we would like. To do that, you want to click download in the bottom here. So go ahead and click download and the skin will automatically download in the bottom left. Now, if you do want to edit this more advanced, there are tools out there, specifically GIMP is a free photo editor that you can use as well as Photoshop. So let me go ahead and open that really fast and I'll open up the skin we just downloaded. By the way, the skin is going to be found in your downloads folder. Go to the little notice icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or the center of your screen on Windows 11 and type in downloads. 
You have this here, and in here you will find the skin. You can drag that to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop and open up the skin. So here we are with the skin open in Photoshop. One of the reasons I wanted to do this is I wanted to show you how small these skins are. I mean, you are truly working with pixel art here. Now, this looks kind of random, and one thing that I would recommend doing is actually kind of identifying where everything is and outlining it in different colors on the skin decks before downloading this. So for example, you can make the arms this color, and then when you can come over to the skin here, you'll be able to see, okay, the arms are in this area. There's also a basically outline that you can download that will have all of these and have all these identified and you can find that on Google as well. But nevertheless, once you've got your skin downloaded, how do we go ahead and add that in game? Well, we wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and then from the Minecraft launcher, we wanna go ahead and select skins. It's that simple, right? Minecraft launcher is open here. Wait for a quick uh, loading. There we go. And we can click skins at the top. Then we wanna go ahead and click plus new here. And then we can name this our make a skin skin. <laughs> make a skin skin, there we go. And you can select whether you want the slim or classic model. I'm gonna go ahead and use the classic model. You can see what the slim looks like right there. Boom, there's the two. And then we go ahead and browse. This is gonna be found on our desktop, right like so, and there's the skin. And by the way, once you add it to Minecraft, it can be uh, removed. Now. As I said, all the black on this, right, this this black that's appeared, that's because there's nothing there. If you were to add in colors on that, it would make it so that there is stuff there. Pretty simple, right? Now let's just go ahead and click Save and Use in the bottom right, and the skin is going to activate. There it is. You can select other skins you've had in the past, right, like so, very quick and easy. If it does give you an error or an error that says unable to activate skin, I've actually uh, been able to, yeah, there you go, spam it a little bit and it will eventually work. Now we go ahead and click Play. I'm gonna launch up Minecraft, show you the skin in game, but you now know how to make a Minecraft skin. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. Now let's do a quick jump cut to where we're in game to show you the skin. So here we are in game and uh, yeah, there, there's the skin. It, it doesn't doesn't look good, right? But um, it, it's there, so. <laughs> now obviously you won't want to make a skin that, uh, well, looks better than this one, but this one is a skin nonetheless and uh, I don't judge any skins. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. I'm going to go switch back to my uh, really cool custom skin that I have and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.